So our, our one club training sessions are a once a month training where we bring together 18 of, uh, of our kind of emerging talents from our under 15 team all the way through to our crew two team. So across all four teams in the development pathway, we select 18 players once a month to come together for a training session. That's led by our uh, a collaboration between our first team's coaching staff, second team and academy coaching staff. Well, there is two objectives with the one club training. Uh, the first one is the, for the players. Provide them an environment like with, uh, with different players from different categories that have a high potential to put them through training and to see where they're at and to try to, uh, to create an environment for them to get another opportunity to uh, express themselves but also get, uh, get another experience. On the coaching side, it's the opportunity to do like a little bit of uh, coaching education but also uh, share ideas and, uh, and, and work together to align on the, on the club's vision and on, on the playing style. So we meet as a staff uh, to determine kind of the, the main topic of the training session, the main principle or concepts we want to teach. And then from that, then we split into groups where each, you know, three, three coaches all work together to design one element of the training session. So we typically have three or four elements of the training session. Uh, so we work together to des design that. And then we come together as a staff to go over the session as a whole. Uh, we use it as a great, a great way to kind of collaborate through all, all teams and within the club. We're also as kind of a coach education element to it as well, to learn from each other, to share ideas uh, and work together to build a, build a training session. Uh, the players are identified by the, by the coaches uh, each month, so it's based on, uh, on their potential but also based on their performances, based on their behaviours, so it's a constant process like across the, the course of the season and that's why like, it's, it's evolving, it's dynamic and we hope it's going gonna, it's gonna to change during the season so we can see also different players. It's really by kind of committee, I would say, is everyone within the club will kind of have an input, whether it's the academy coaching staff, second team coaching staff, technical director, the club mark, myself, we'll get together, uh, discuss kind of those 18 participants, um, probably, you know, based on, is it the form of the player over the last kind of four weeks, um, how they've been training, how they've been playing in games, uh, game performances, um, but also discipline off the field. Are they, you know, are they being a good, steward of the club, are they behaving well, uh, are they doing well in school. So we kind of try and kind of evaluate the player as a whole, you know, looking at the whole human, the whole person, as well as how they've been doing from a soccer perspective over the last month. I'd say long term the goal is to be even more aligned in terms of how we train, uh, what we train on from a coaching standpoint and uh, in terms of the players the long term goal is of course to identify players that can uh, make the jump to the first team so we hope that Within this group, there is a couple of guys that uh, will sign their contract with uh, True 2 and, and play in MLS Next Pro and, and later on eventually join in uh, with a first-team contract and, uh, and to play with us.